ladies. Sherry here from No Flex Giving Crew. How's it going? So I just wanted to show you a painting that I'm still working on. I just started it. So this is Scott Whelan from Stone Temple Pilots. So another beautiful soul joining us for the reading today. Okay, so this is going to be a twin flame reading um, for, or sorry, divine feminine reading, my bad, oh my god, uh, for uh, June the 9th until the 16th. I thought Mercury was no longer in retrograde. I'm still having a hard time talking. Oh boy. Crown chakra just flew out. Okay, so I said I was having a hard time talking and uh, the crown chakra is I know uh, it's you know connecting with source having uh, creative ideas Whoa, downloading information okay the high priestess just jumped out so tapping into your third eye I think spirit is telling me how to fix my brain farts pretty much so I just wanted to thank you ladies for all of the support that you're giving me. Um, you have no idea how much it helps me to, to do the readings, to bring the readings to you every re week. It gives me a lot of confidence and, you know, I feel, you know, like I'm on the right path. So you guys help me to continue my journey and I thank you so much, so much gratitude. Love you, girls. All right, so I'm using my deck for confirmation. Okay, so I'm going to do a divine partnership split. So how do you view the relationship with the masculine? Sacral chakra again. So this was the card for the overall um, energy for the twin flame union. So your emotional chakra has been activated and you, you feel like you're able to um, feel emotions, express emotions, and you know, receive, emo receive emotions. So you're, I guess you feel like the masculine makes you happy and you know, just allows you or opens you up to feeling emotions that you never had before. So I'm going to pull three cards. Wheel of Fortune. Oh my god. Uh, solar Plexus Chakra. This showed up in the Twin Flame reading. And the Hangman. Very nice. So the um, Wheel of Fortune talks about good luck, good fortune coming back towards you. It's, you know, what goes around comes around. Uh, it represents destiny as well, so you see the masculine as your destiny, and Spirit is telling you that um, there's a cycle that's coming to completion in that the energy that, um, you know, the, um, the work that you've done, the, um, you know, everything is coming back to you in a, a good way, so the dreams that you desire are coming towards you, uh, but more importantly, destiny is knocking on your door. So when I look at these cards, I see like a past, present, and future um, timeline being shown here. So um, there's a sense that the completion, that cycle ended, and you're still in that emotional, um, you're still feeling that emotional abundance and as well as uh, power. The solar plexus chakra is courage, strength, determination. It's sexual energy as well. So you are lit up by the sacral chakra and solar plexus chakra. He lights you up. He makes you feel um, emotional abundance as well as power. The hangman is kind of in the future position. So. This card represents surrendering, letting go of control, seeing things from a different perspective. So what I feel is the hangman um, represents an energy that's coming full cir circle, right? With the 
wheel of fortune um, karma coming back to you in a good way because you've surrendered in the past um, that surrender has opened you up and because you're going to be surrendering in the future that power is going to continue to grow and you're going to continue to manifest um, things into your life abundance into your life but more importantly the divine masculine right this whole journey is about activation of the consciousness and um, becoming you know light workers for the world help others on their journey so what are you resisting what <laughs> the hangman you're resisting the hangman okay I'm gonna see what else page of cups okay so you're not surrendering you wanna or you have communicated love or you're resisting communicating love so you're, you're not surrendering to something which you will be surrendering to in the future if that makes sense oh wow the four of wands okay wow two of cups that's crazy beautiful so you're resisting surrendering seeing things from a different perspective letting go of control is the main energy card okay um, here it's confirmation card that you need to surrender let go of control of you know any attachments that you ha might have to the masculine um, so you will ultimately be doing that and by surrendering you're allowing this union to come towards you so the f the page of cups represents communicating love it is the beginning of a relationship it's a desire to have a relationship begin and express yourself in that way so it's like love started and um, expressing that love communicating your love uh, this is a muse so it's someone who, who inspires an artist to create the um, four of wands is confirmation that this is a twin flame connection the masculine masculine also got that in his um, reading so there's a definite awareness of the twin flame connection between the two um, on some level okay like the the hangman um, is somebody who's more or less surrendering because of a change in perspective um, so it's not you know the high priestess or the high or the um, the world card or the you know judgment card or anything higher really um, it's a lower level enlightenment card so if you are fully able to surrender move to higher levels change your perspective that will open up this door for the love and connection to come in so four of wands um, remember you guys got this as a foundation for the twin flame well not you the uh, feminine I mean both of you guys um, it was a shared energy for the foundation in the twin flame reading um, so that energy is surrounding you um, and again spirit is asking you to surrender so this is sharing your life with the divine masculine in the 3d but it's a spiritual um, you know union in the 3d four of wands is spirituality and uh, you know, so it could represent marriage, engagement, buying a home, traveling, <clears throat> sorry, um, but it's, you know, the twins sitting in front of this fire, listening to a crackle, and just really enjoying life, expressing yourself, communicating love, your affection from what, for one another. So you're resisting surrendering um, full control is what I'm seeing here. You, you're desiring, you desire um, this connection, but you're not fully surrendering. And in, in the Twin Flame reading, you know, the Feminine got the Five of Pentacles, which is release, seeing yourself from something in the 3D. Um, you got the, <clears throat> sorry, my voice is cracking up. When, it ha when that happens, that means that communication needs to happen. So maybe you're resisting communicating your love. Um, but anyway, there's something that needed to be released. You're not fully surrendering. 
Boy, that drives me crazy when my throat does that. It's just out of the blue for no apparent reason, just random. You know, I could be talking all day, no problem, and then the freaking throat chakra shows up or a page or something. Okay, so message from the higher self. Wow, the masculine got this card in a message from his higher self. So it's time to move forward. Your higher self is telling you it's time to pursue the thing that makes you emotionally fulfilled and, and happy and, you know, excited and, you know, just living the life that you desire. But going after that, with that dream, using your pure will and determination in the external world, overcoming obstacles, not letting anything stop you, um, taking those reins and just charging forward. So it, it's time to move forward. So let's see what else. Wow. Oh my God. Okay. The um, King of Pentacles, the Three of Wands, and um, the Star card. So the King of Pentacles could represent an earth sign, but the, the Queen of Pentacles showed up in the Divine Masculine reading. <clears throat> was a message from the universe. And it came with the Fool card. There was this feeling. No, actually... Oh my god, I, I totally need to like pause the video and check it out. Because I'm pretty sure the Queen of Pentacles showed up with the um, chariot. So I'm totally going to do that. Okay guys, I'm going to pause the video. I'm going to go check out the Divine Masculine reading. Because all three of these readings are so synchronistically aligned. It's so crazy. The same messages keep being um, presented with different cards. Same cards keep showing up in similar positions. The energy is so powerful. So I just want to check on this, okay? Sorry about that. So it was actually the King of Wands that showed up. Um, but it's the same card. Message from the Higher Self was the Chariot. Um, so the King of Wands is him coming into his power, being powerful enough to be a leader and move forward. So here now we've got a King of Pentacles. Um, being represented instead of the king of wands so now it's coming up in kind of the past energy so there's this grounded strength that I was really feeling with the queen of pentacles and that showed up in his environment so um, I'll try to connect some pictures um, to the video so you can see what I'm talking about so there was a feeling of a new start in the 3D. So, um, yeah, the Three of Wands talks about making a decision in the past that was based on your spirituality, your higher calling, right? And it's, you know, starting to see that return. Um, it's um, seeing the initial fruits of your labor. Um, and, you know, spirit giving you a thumbs up, you're on the right spiritual path. So, I'm almost feeling like this chariot is coming towards you. Because we got the, you know, this is more abundance, a more reward coming towards you. Starting to see that reward, but there's still more work to do and more reward as a result of it. And then the star card represents wish granted. So you wished upon a star, star and that um, those dreams are being manifested. But it also offers hope. It says, you know, you've been through a very difficult time. And, you know, because of all this surrender um, and work that you've been doing on your soul growth, you know, being on the right path, um, you know, uh, you know, the worst is over and now it's time to rest and heal yourself. Um, but I really feel, you know, that is your dream coming towards you, your wish coming towards you. And I mean, it could possibly represent communication or contact with either an earth sign or, um, you know, contact with the masculine in the 3D in some way. You guys are always so complex. All right, so past position, solitude, very nice, the hermit. So again, with the surrender, 
you, you know, feminine is being represented here. Going in, um, connecting with your your um, higher self, you know, your spirituality, gaining wisdom, knowledge. Um, this also represents detaching from society, from conditioning, from the material world, um, in order to go on a spiritual quest. So let's see what else comes up. The Magician, Three of Pentacles, and the Ace of Pentacles. Interesting. Um, so the um, Magician card represents manifesting your dreams into reality. It's having, you know, this immense power of focus, um, you know, activating your crown chakra, opening up uh, your connection to source, downloading information, and figuring out ways to manifest this into your reality. So it's a number one, it's a new beginning of life. It comes after the full card. We got the, magi or sorry, the Ace of Pentacles here. Um, as a new beginning in the 3D world, so it's a seed being planted, and you know it represents abundance coming into your life like a it's um, a windfall card, right? So it's a new start. It's something being offered to you. So something was offered to you in the 3D, um, and it's because of something you manifested. So remember that this is kind of like in the past position. So it's a distant past kind of energy. You, your crown chakra was, was activated and you already began to manifest um, your thoughts, your dreams into reality. And from that, a seed was planted and it grew into the Three of Pentacles. This is a firm foundation. And it's because of your surrender, because of your detachment and because of your spiritual connection and growth um, tapping into your powers you actually feel like you've manifested something and grounded um, a new start into reality and we, we see that again with the wheel of fortune you know like that cycle completed and there was that new beginning so we have an 11 here as well, the ace and the, the one for the magician. Okay, your present position, wow, the ace of pentacles again. So this card um, was coming up in your near future position for the twin flame reading. Um, so this new beginning is completely surrounding you. It's in the past, your future, and your present position as well. So. Um, Abundance is completely surrounding you and the reality of a new beginning in the 3D is, you know, it's almost like you can feel it, especially with that King of Pentacles up there. So, you know, it just could be a decision made and a start in the 3D. So it's like that seed is planted and um, you guys are coming together to to grow that beautiful tree so you know you can have that abundance in your life seven of cups wow king of swords and the devil again so the seven of cups talks about having a lot of options available to you it's kind of in the past position so um, there was a sense of scattered energy. You didn't know what to do. Um, but then you had clarity of thought with the... Or you do have clarity of thought with the King of Swords. Um, so I'm really feeling this is your energy. You know, you need to take um, that sword and cut away the devil. Make a decision. Take control of your life. Be that authority. Um, and it also requires you to detach from emotions as well. You know, if you want this new beginning to fully manifest in your life, this devil needs to be cleared. So this devil showed up. I mean, let me go back to this. This could be an air sign. This card shows up in the Twin Flame readings so much. It's crazy. Um, that and the Queen of, Queen of Wands and the Queen of Cups. So... 
air sign, um, it is detachment from the emotions, basically. Um, and it could represent the masculine energy, because that did show up um, in the Twin Flame reading. And, uh, but it could also represent you. You need to be this strong, authoritative type of person in order to, to detach yourself, again, from the devil. This was the final outcome for the Twin Flame reading. So this represents the ego, the, um, the ugly side of yourself, <laughs> the shadow side of yourself, um, um, the unconscious mind. There's something that is attached to you that you're not fully conscious of. Uh, so it could also represent a codependent relationship, an addiction, or just a belief um, that you're not good enough or... Um, you know, you're choosing to believe that you're not free. This is a chain. Ultimately, you find your freedom um, in the Twin Flame reading. You get that key. So I'm almost feeling like you already have that key to your freedom. It's just realizing that you need to use it to, to um, unlock yourself from, from whatever this is. So the future position, Six of Swords, very nice. You will be moving on from that negative energy. So this is finally making a decision to move to calmer waters, to calmer, peaceful state of mind. Uh, this card showed up in the message from the universe, so um, it's like the masculine already decided to move on mentally from something negative. Uh, and because there's a, a masculine energy being represented here, I feel a masculine energy coming towards you, towards the light. So let's see what else comes up first, though. Three Cups, very prominent card in the readings this week. Ace of Swords, very nice. Wow, and the Ten of Pentacles. Are you freaking kidding me? That's crazy. I just realized I didn't shuffle the cards when I came back on camera. You're just going to have to trust me that I didn't mess with them, okay? Um, so the Three of um, Cups. This is a union energy. So this showed up in the present position for the feminine and then it was an outcome. So there was this loving connection um, that I almost feel like this card is like an activation card. It's that initial feeling when two people come together and fall in love. And it just, you know, that love flowing through you, that true love flowing through you um, activates higher levels of consciousness. It real, makes you realize that you're connected to something much larger than yourself, right? So you celebrate that love. This could also represent, um, you know, being in a group of like-minded people as well, but I, I'm really feeling that, that love activation. Um, so, and union as well. The Ace of Swords represents making a decision. So, it's like you need to make that decision to cut that devil out and then here we have decision made to cut the devil out there's a feminine being represented here naked exposed vulnerable knows her truth expresses her truth and um, you know normally the ace of swords represents success and victory so it's being victorious as a result of walking away from a negative energy um, and it's a new beginning as well. It's an idea being grounded in reality. So, you know, I am, I'm really feeling it's the Six of Swords is more your energy because of the fact that the devil's there. You do make that decision to move on um, and to follow your heart. And because of that, the Ten of Pentacles manifests in your life. Very beautiful. We got a mirroring going on here. Um, the desire to manifest that long-term goal, Ten of Pentacles, in your life in the past. Okay, so the magician is the manifester. The Ace of Pentacles is that seed being planted in the past. Um, foundation being laid. Um, the continued energy, you know, the decision to really fully manifest that Ace of Pentacles in your life um, I feel becomes made uh, the sword cuts away that devil and because of that the ten of pentacles is manifested so the ace of pentacles ten of pentacles so this is um, 
that long-term goal, right? So it is um, being successful, having abundance in your life. Um, it is, you know, the tree fully grown. And But there's lo not a lot of importance placed on 3D wealth. It's being surrounded by friends and family and not having to worry about money anymore. So it's that, um, you know, final resting place. So it's accomplishment in the 3D in a major way. So, you know, either the masculine is walking towards this, um, towards your, you being the... Um, vulnerable, exposed woman with, you know, holding that sort of truth, um, with love in your heart, and he's coming towards you, or this could be you walking away from this devil energy. So, it's, you know, I see the um, Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups, um, as being very similar energy combined as the Four of Wands. So Ten of Cups and then Ten of Pentacles is equal to the Ten of Wands. So it's like you're manifesting that, um, you know, twin flame connection into your life because of surrendering, just as I said earlier. Same thing here. It's like you're manifesting. Your wishes are coming true. That energy is coming towards you. So maybe it's just debilitating fear of having your heart broken again because remember you had the five of cups in your past position so maybe you're holding on to fear so take that sword cut it away and that will release you okay so message from the universe five of wands obstacles and challenges um so, you know, it's a minor challenge, minor obstacle that's meant to make your light shine brighter. So there's something you need to overcome. Well, yeah, that would be the devil. Five of Pentacles. Lover's card. And the Justice. Very nice. So um, the Five of Pentacles showed up in your present position as the last card. So again, you need to release that. Um, the universe is telling you to overcome that tiny obstacle. The chariot also speaks about overcoming obstacles as well and using your your will in order to do that. So power up girlfriends and take that step, okay? So it may require some kind of sacrifice or you know um, I think here you're feeling left out in the cold perhaps in the present position um, because the Eight of Swords also showed up. So there, there was that feeling of being locked out. Um, so I think ultimately that release has ha already happened. You've... Um, no. Actually, I think it's a feeling of being left out in the cold. And I think that um, this step forward will bring you towards union is what I'm seeing here. You feel locked out, but it's coming towards you. Um, the lover's card you brought into the union, you recognize your twin flame, you desire, um, you know, feeling that passion, that love, that deep love that twin flames share, and um, you desire union. And Spirit is saying if you take that step over that obstacle, that uh, justice will be served, that, that energy is coming towards you. So this is cause of cause and effect. It's karma coming back, um, and it's because of things that you've done in the past. It's not like the the wheel of fortune here. Uh, the wheel of fortune is destiny. It comes um, it comes along and is unstoppable. Destiny is unstoppable. You can't control it, right? Um, but you know, there's things that have been done that kind of set you up for your destiny. Um, but the justice card is, you know, the things that you've done in the past will come back to you. Um, and it usually means that it's going to come back to you in a good way. Justice will be served if you're able to come overcome that obstacle and fully release this five of pentacles. This chain that's still holding you back is still being brought into the reading. Um, 
then ultimately that door opens for you to allow that twin flame connection to fully manifest. It's showing up, you know, in your future position, so... Move to a calmer state of mind. Um, so the energy that is in your environment, Nine of Wands, spiritual strength. So this is, um, you know, feeling like the wounded warrior. The, the Nine of Wands showed up in the masculine present position, um, and it's coming up in your environment, so this must be the masculine energy. You know, he's being represented as a Buddha. And the high priest showed up three times in his reading already. So he is spiritually strong. Um, hold on, my mom. <coughs> Sorry, I just got a <coughs> major tickle in my throat. Okay, there we go again with the communication. So let's see what else. Wow, the world card again. Wow, high priest. And the temperance card. Three major arcanas, and they're all spiritual kind of um, cards. So he's definitely showing up as a Buddha. Look at that. The high priest, the crown chakra activated, third eye, you know, here. Um, the world card is, is uh, an outcome for... Uh, the twin flame reading for him. So it's the final piece of the puzzle being placed. He represents that final piece of the puzzle. So what I'm feeling here is the masculine is going through the final stages of awakening. Um, he's been knocked down over and over and over again, but he's not going to give up. <clears throat> and uh, it's because he's spiritually awakened. Um, so yeah, he's placing that final piece of the puzzle. This is the end of the fool's journey. It's abundance. It's... Um, the completion of a cycle from 20 years to a lifetime. It is going through all the stages of, of you know, evolution and enlightenment. Um, so he is conscious like a mofo, tapped in. He's there with you, offering you support. And the future position card is the temperance. So for me, this is the ultimate union card. And this showed up as his overall energy for the twin flame reading. So. Either this represents the twins coming into full union, the souls recombining, that kind of energy, or, um, you know, this could be you, you know, that angel, um, that beautiful angel waiting impatiently, you know, in the now, not attached to anything, just patient. And, um, you know, that seed is planted, it's growing, and um, I feel that it's manifesting. So... You are offering him strength. You are encouraging him. You are mirroring him so he can see how beautiful he is. And because of that, completion is near. I've never had so many strong indications that there's something is coming soon. All right, so what do you fear? Positive movement for Eight of Pentacles. So this is building up a wealth for yourself, feeling secure financially, um, and using that, those resources, that abundance in order to propel you forward. So maybe you fear that more work needs to be done. Now, I'm having flashes of memories of the last week's twin flame, or was it, I can't remember, but there was a sense of being merged, submerged in water partially submerged in water. Maybe this was a private reading. But, um, you know, half of you... Half of you is, like, activated. Your crown chakra is activated. Um, the cloud is, like, mental clarity. But yet, there, part of you is submerged in water. So there's a, there's a sense that there's something that's emotional that's kind of, like... Um, you know, dragging you down, bringing you down, that you're not fully dealing with. And the Eight of Pentacles, you can see here, there's like a, a boat skimming across this water, um, not fully engaging in any emotional, you know. It, it all has to do with the 3D. Now, I'm, I'm trying to relate this all back to the sacral chakra, the emotional and power, powerhouse chakras. So you fear this. Well, let's see what else comes up. Four of Pentacles, the masculine, or you, were closed off the Eight of Pentacles again. 
Wow, and the Ten of Swords. So, the Four of Pentacles, uh, the Masculine had this in his present position, and I was really feeling that it was a, you know, foundation being grounded. Some, but in this card, I'm really kind of feeling maybe the Masculine was closed off to you. Um, maybe you're holding on too tightly. Maybe you fear that the Masculine will close off. There's just this energy coming in from the past that is causing you to fear moving forward in some way. Um, so the Eight of Pentacles, again, it's the same card. It's working really hard at something. Maybe um, maybe you feel like you've put a lot of work into manifesting you know, this Ten of Pentacles in the future, and maybe you feel, feel that it won't fully manifest, that instead it, something's going to end. The Ten of Swords um, represents an ending of the dark night of the soul. This is like debilitating um, fear. It is like being stabbed in the back ten times and being left for dead, but it's an ending. That's over. Maybe you fear that the masculine will close off and that all this work will be for nothing, and that's exactly what I'm feeling for sure. That, um, you know, that it'll end, and that maybe that's why this this devil card is lingering in the future. You know, surrender. Your dreams are coming true, okay? So let go of whatever that thing is in the 3D that's stopping you. Um, your dreams are being manifested, okay? So no worries. Everything is moving forward. Um, it's clear sailing. Spirit is saying, you know, that the worst is over now, okay? So no worries. Surrender. <clears throat> Sorry. Bottom of the deck. Wow, the universe card. So the masculine got that as a final outcome. It's showing up over here. Um, so again, this is going through all the phases of um, awakening, enlightenment, you know, going through the fire many times, and doing a lot of soul growth. So uh, this is that abundance coming towards you as a result of it. And um, so this also represents, you know, the ending of a cycle from 20 years to lifetime. But what I'm really feeling is you represent or he represents that final piece of the puzzle that is going to be placed. I really feel for a lot of twin flames, there, um, there is a massive cycle that's coming to an end and a new beginning for some. Not all. It's general reading. But that's really what I'm picking up. Um, so it's some type of manifestation in the 3D, okay? It is a beginning of... It's allowing that door to open by surrendering, and it will manifest. So no fears. Don't become closed off, and don't fear that he will be closed off. So I'm going to pull a card from Miss and Mermaids, a message from the universe. Mermaid with butterflies. I don't think I've read that one. It's a beautiful card. Yeah, mermaid with butterflies. Pretty. Number thirty. Okay, so mermaid with butterflies. Um. Oh my God, are you serious? can't say this word, sagacious, S-A-G-A-C-I-O-U-S, -A -A I can't talk today, sag, sag uh, I'm not even going to try it, okay, butterfly, rising above her tainted pond, how does she ascend to find peace and purity beyond, a lovely young mermaid gazes lovingly at the beautiful multicolored butterflies ascending above her, out of a rippling pond, her heart longs to go with them and escape the mire in which she finds herself. So yeah, you, I, I, I sense a lot of, you know, longing, desiring energy in your reading here, too. So the meaning, rise above your circumstances. It's time to rise above your current circumstances. 
You have been content with lesser and corrupted things for too long. Yes, the devil. Look inside your most inner self and realize that you're not happy with the aspects of your situation. So yeah, you, you know, you know, the karmic relationship, something is chaining you for sure. So perhaps your cycle of, oh sorry, perhaps your circle of friends is pulling you down or in a bad direction. Perhaps your work is beneath your skills, abilities, and aspirations, but you are having trouble breaking free. It could be your home life, your significant other, your neighborhood, or your domicile, or your domicile itself that is not up to standard. However, just like the butterfly mermaid, um, you have seen a path to peace and purity. Shake off the cor corrupt acquaintances and the duties that are beneath you. Aspire for more spiritual, emotional, and intellectual. Take inspiration from the noble butterfly. Take wing and rise above. Oh, that's so beautiful. That's exactly what I was saying. So trust. Let go of your fears and um, for yourself. All right. Love you girls. Tell me if this resonated. You know, this really helps me find the confidence to to do the readings, your likes, your shares, your you know, support it means a lot to me. Alright, we shall see you next week. Peace. <laughs>